to 14, somewhere there. For the day of the Lord cometh, when it shall burn with fervent heat, and everything shall be melted up, and everything in the earth shall be destroyed. And people are laughing and scoffing. And I propose there's nothing wrong with marriage. It depends on the marriage, right? It depends on the marriage. Marriage was intended, intended between a man and a woman. The first marriage God was performed by God himself in the Garden of Eden between Adam and Eve. As some preachers say, it wasn't between Adam and Steve, or Eve and, uh, and, and, and Eve. Okay? It was between a man and a woman. And we go back again. Genesis chapter 2 verse 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Matthew 19 5. Jesus himself re-emphasized the same thing. So when people, whether President Obama or whoever else, or the Pope or whoever else, gonna say uh, it's unconstitutional. In other words, it's not right for uh, marriage to be defined only as between a man and a woman but a man and a man you wonder where will they draw the line when is when are they gonna say okay if a brother want to marry their brother nothing is wrong with it also as long as they love each other right our two sisters want to marry each other all right our son want to marry here his mother our mother her son our father her son his son what, where, where, when they're going to draw the line the line has to be drawn somewhere friend so this is nonsense that they're talking about there has to be some uh, some, 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 some place where you draw the line and say this is it, that's what separates mankind from the animal kingdom you know what I mean and even animals tend to go in pairs right and stick with their, their, their mate right so it shows you that there's something there right and as we say, the human race would come to a grinding halt if this continued to perpetuate itself and more and more, um, more people become homosexual and lesbian because even if they got children, they got to adopt them or they got to do them by some test tube something and they still have to use a male and a female. So, to say that a marriage between woman and woman and man and man is something normal is just disgusting and not right and let me tell you it's not because I hate been but I hate the practice I hate this new doctrine so I have lesbians friends and homosexual friends I, I love them but I hate their lifestyle and I cannot condone or compromise with them I have to tell them that it's wrong and it's not acceptable before God however it is their right and their freedom to persist in that kind of lifestyle if they so wish without anybody threatening them with physical harm or discrimin discriminating against them in any way except as the law of God proposes. I cannot have a, a lesbian woman being my minister or my deacon or taking some act active part in my church, not with my blessing. Can't happen. Not over my dead body. Right? And, and no, just the same way if I know a, a, a minister is a practicing adulterer or fornicator with proof, I can't have him, I will not respect him in such an office either. So I'm not going to treat him different from how I treat a lesbian, a practicing lesbian or practicing homosexual. Because God has no preference for sin. He does not compromise with any sin at all. Right? So, but we have to preach the gospel. The problem with gay and lesbian is that they are saying that it's, uh, it's normal, it's okay, it's not a sin, and it's acceptable behavior. It's not. I don't hear any adulterer coming out and say his behavior is acceptable and right and we should accept it and bless it. Neither does the fornicator say that. They all acknowledge that it's wrong. It's immoral. And so therefore, you don't have a quarrel with them because they are not pushing it forward and saying you must accept it. Uh, all right, that's the difference between their kind of behavior and the behavior of the homosexual and lesbian. And now we have even governments and ministers of religion uh, accepting this uh, uh, in, in defiance of the word of God. That's where the problem is. And the Bible tells us that God is going to destroy such people with fire and wipe them out forever and ever. If you don't believe in God, I guess you don't have a problem, right? Because anything goes. If you don't believe in God Almighty, you don't, have, you don't respect the Bible. You don't care what the Bible says because to you is rubbish. Right? But the problem is, the Christians 
it's their job to teach and to preach and tell people not to go for it, not to accept it, but to search out God, find out what the Lord wants so that he may be saved from the wrath of God Almighty because judgment is coming. Hebrews 9.27 It's appointed unto men once to die, but after death the judgment. Right? And I think it's 2 Corinthians 5 verse 10 For we must all appear before the judgment bar of God Almighty. And uh, Revelation 14 verse 9 uh, to, to 15 or 16 uh, Anybody who have the mark of the beast shall receive of the wrath of God poured out without mixture and shall be cast into the lake of fire which burneth with fire and brimstone forever and ever and they have no rest day nor night so if you want to run that risk if you want to run that gamble you can always disregard the word of God you don't have to but the Christian job is to warn to teach to reprove to um, exhort people to righteousness that's the job of the Christian that's my job uh, I'm not a minister. I don't get paid, but I believe every word of God. Jesus says, Matthew 4:4, 4, 4, Luke 4:4, 4, 4, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Because Jesus says in Matthew 24 and verse 30, He's coming back again with power and great glory to judge the earth. Revelation 1 verse 7 says, um, Behold, He cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see Him. Um, Psalms 50, I think, verse 10, verse 3 says, Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. It shall be tempestuous round about him, and a fire shall be for, before him. So, my dear friends, don't accept this gospel that says man and woman, man and homosexuality and lesbianism is okay. We shall have great trial because of this thing. The president has stuck his foot in his mouth pointed his finger in the face of God such is the Supreme Court also and actually forcing the world to follow after them by threatening sanctions and, and, and all sort of punishment for who don't go after them and follow them in what they do against the law of God and we were warned by scripture that the persecution the righteous shall be persecuted I love Barack Obama and I'm proud of him for what he has achieved politically and otherwise but I tell you I am so against what he's doing and proposing this uh, fighting against Gaza this war and so he has put himself in danger and his family and the country because there were many great nations before the United States King of Babylon for instance and look what happened to him and he thought his kingdom was ruled forever and he had the right to do whatever he want and defy the word of the living God and there were many other mighty kingdoms before the United States and they all pass and gone and God's kingdom will last forever so my dear friend don't go with this thing follow righteousness follow Christ search the word of God for yourself know what is truth that you may be saved from the wrath of God Almighty you are called unto righteousness not according to your opinion or the opinion of states and statesmen or presidents or kings and queens but by the word of the living God so my dear friend make right with God because you know what? You're going to die anyways, any day soon. And if you don't make right with God now, you shall come up in the second resurrection to receive the wrath of God. And you're not going to like that. So, whether you will hear or forbear, our word is to warn. Finally, Matthew chap Mark chapter 16, 16, Jesus says, Go preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be, same, shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be saved damned believe the word friend god bless you search it out for yourself and save your soul and your family because if not you are gonna be lost and there will be hell to pay at the hands of the living god so we pray for our president we pray for our country and we pray for all mankind so that whoever will may hear the word of god and be saved before it is eternal too late